Hello everyone. So whenever you explore joint venture, you have question in mind that how exactly the joint venture works or how you can sell your produce to us. So now I'm going to walk you through the entire client portal login and entire client portal, how the exact joint venture mechanism work and how you can sell your produce to us. To do that, you'll be visiting our website, which is the Kryzen.com. On this, uh, you can get in touch with us using this mobile number and for client portal login, you have to click on this link. When you click on this link, you will be redirected to the client portal login. So when you redirect to the client portal login, here you have to create, you have to add your email ID and password. This uh, email ID and password will be provided to you at the time of a setup. So I'm using a demo credentials here. To walk you through the client portal. So in client portal, the first three, uh, screen is a dashboard screen. In dashboard screen, you will be seeing the production capacity like how much area is under production right now. All this data is fetched from the Hydronex, which is a farm management software. You will see your revenue in last 30 days, how much revenue you have accumulated. You will see your production in last 30 days, what is your production. You will see the pending you know, billing amounts which is pending with us, which is yet to be paid. Uh, today you can see you have made 3 sales, uh, your 6 invoices are waiting for the payments. You have 78 orders in last 30 days, you have 0 SLA breaches and the 21 batches are into progress. So again, this data comes from the Hydro Next. You can see your capacity like 44% farm is under a basin, 19% uh, is parsley, 17% is oregano and 20% area is free. So you can extend this area for other productions. So here you can see your revenue. You can see from the setup of the farm, your revenue has started exponentially growing. In initial months, you can see the revenue is not that much, your production is not that much. But after one or two months period, the revenue has started exponentially growing. Here you can see your task, like what are the tasks you have to take care of today. Let's say your invoice is cleared, you have to check the status whether the amount is credited in your account or not. You have to mark your order ready to ship in Hydronex. Then you have to increase the capacity of basil production. So this is coming from here, you have a free area and is expected that the basil price is gonna grow. So based on that, the prediction is came that you have to increase the basil production capacity. So now then we have to see your solution B is almost empty. So you have to order more solution B. Solution C is almost empty. You have to order more solution C. And basil seeds are you know, running on the discount. So you can stock up your basil seeds. So all these tasks will be accumulated here. So now let's go and see the farm development process. In farm development process, you can see your development timeline when the development was done. Project was developed by whom? Which was the on-site team which worked on the project development. So you can get in touch with them whenever you want. You can give the feedback about the development if you see any changes, you want any changes to be done. So these feedbacks will be passed to the AMC team where AMC team can work on it. So you can, whatever issues you are facing, whatever things you think uh, you need need a modification, you can uh, you know, convey here. So now let's go to agronomy and product. In agronomy and product, there are different kind of a products like seeds, fertilizers, the some products which is related to polyhouse or hydrophonic systems. You can place order for them. Let's say there is a pH meter, EC meter, then there is a luminometer, then there is a fertilizer, there is a packaging material, then there is a seeds. So whenever you want to order seeds, so let's say when I click on this request delivery, so your request is reached to the Kryzen Biotech and we'll be sending the seeds to you. So whenever your seed stock is ending, you have to just request for the delivery. Whatever the amount the seeds pricing is there, it will be debited from your the pending bill amounts. So now let's go to the sell your produce part. So this is the most interesting part into your client portal uh, where your zone is allotted. Let's say your zone is allotted as Pune 3, your scheduled delivery is morning 6 to 10, your address is this and your designated delivery address is this. So let's say whenever you have any basil production ready, this data will come from the hydro next. Let's say your basil batch 16 is ready for harvest and ready for delivery. What you have to do is you have to select your produce. Like say here we can see these three batches are ready for harvest and delivery. I selected basil six, uh, batch 16. I can sell my produce here. Let's say I want to sell 70 kg of a basil. Or let's say I want to sell total entire. I have uh, 200, uh, 199 kg basil ready with me. So whenever you try to enter a number which is more than the, your capacity of a harvest. Let's say if I enter 250, it will say your batch size is 200 kg. From Hydronics, we get the data that okay, maximum you can produce 200 kg, harvest 200 kg today. So you will be able to sell 200 kg. So let's say 199 or 200 in for that case. So 200, your 120 rupees is today's market price at Mumbai, and you will be getting amount of 24,000 rupees, and it will be deposited from delivery plus three days. So when I click on the sale now, you will see the basil batch 16, 200 kg, rate is 120 rupees. 24,000 rupees is a billing amount you have placed order today and your SLA period is tomorrow by 1220. What is the SLA period? 
SLA period is a service level agreement. So uh, whenever you send your produce to the warehouse, based on that the future orders or future delivery of this particular produce is planned. So you have to deliver your produce before the SLA period is breached. So whenever your product is ready to ship, you have to just click on ready to dispatch. When you click on ready to dispatch, you get the address on which address on delivery address you have to send your produce. So just click OK. So your SLA is pending. So this is a new order which is raised by you. So you can see your order is here. When your order is delivered to the warehouse, delivery team will be marked your order as a delivered. So once the delivered is done, then your invoice will be clear. So once the invoice is cleared, you'll see the marking as a paid marking. Once the paid marking is done, means this amount is already credited into your bank account. Apart from this, you can visit your Hydro Next or Hydro Build from here directly. You can check your profile. So when you visit your profile, you'll see your company name, your GST, your PAN. So what the invoicing is done, which is it will be done on this GST number. You can see your farm size, CA types, that a specification of the farm, contact details of you, your billing address, farm address, your SLA type, and your selling. Rate. So when you say SLA type, so when your farm size is very small, let's say 560 square meter, it's less than let's say 5 acre, then you will have an allocated delivery address where you have to ship your delivery to a particular address. When your farm size is bigger, when you expand your farms, uh, you go, you, you open multiple farms, then your SLA address will be your, your farm locations. From there the pickup will happen. So right now uh, the farm size is very small, so I have to send my uh, materials to a delivery address. Once my farm size is increased, then the material will be picked at my farm location. So the selling price is market actual. So if you are working at the small farm size, again you will be dealing on a market actual pricing. When I say about the market actual price is the price which I get from the market. So once the farm size is increased, when your farm size is bigger, then you can work on the fixed market rate, the fixed pricing of their commodities. Apart from that, you'll get some details like agronomy support. You can get, you can request agronomy call whenever you want. You can request an AMC call whenever you want, and you can also refer your friends to use this system. So this is an entire client portal where you can sell your produce to us seamlessly without worrying about anything. The payments, the amounts, everything will be managed seamlessly for you. All produce and everything will come from the Hydronext. So. I can see uh, you have already raised order for a base sale. You can raise order for another product. You can order, uh, uh, no, order multiple products from here. Let's say you want to order a fertilizer. So when you say your solution C is ending, when you request this delivery, the amount of this solution C will be debited from your pending bill amount. So this pending bill amount is here. From there, the amount will be debited. Uh, fertilizer amount is mostly fixed and it will be updated on the website regularly. So generally fertilizer, seeds and packaging material uh, is like predefined uh, items which you have to use to give the better quality or the same quality which is you no know, required for by the companies or required by us. So generally why do we follow this method? So we will be growing uh, at your farm but uh, like you there will be hundreds of farmers which are growing the same crop. So we have to maintain the same quality. That's why the seeds, fertilizer and packaging material is uniform throughout the entire India. Like throughout, like uh, doesn't matter where your farm is located. These three items will be uniform. So this is all about client portal. You can log out and you can enjoy selling your sell, uh, produce wherever you want, whenever you want. And all this data is readily accessible to us and readily accessible to you. So thank you guys. If you have any question or any query, you can call us at 9870-424-425 or you can uh, email us at contact at the anytime. Thank you. Thanks a lot.